Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Austin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically connect your MacBook Pro or Air to an external monitor. So you can see this guy right behind me over there, but also have the MacBook closed. Now I'm sure you guys have probably tried to like plug it into the monitor. You know, it connects, but then you know, you have your laptop open and the monitor's open. As soon as you close it, it doesn't do anything. So there's one quick fix that basically basically allows you to do it with the MacBook closed like how it is right now. All right guys, so step one is get your cable. So for me, I have the 2019 MacBook Pro, so uh, it is going to be USB-C. Now you just use whatever connector you have on your MacBook. And I have it also connected to an HDMI. So this is an adapter that goes from USB-C to HDMI. That HDMI goes right into the back of the monitor. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna plug that in right here. Now, here's the trick, guys. So yes, that will connect to the monitor, but what I just did is actually going to make it like one giant monitor, if that makes sense. So it's gonna be my MacBook and the external monitor basically put together, but separate screens, but showing the same image, if that makes sense. So it's gonna look like this. So that's what it's doing right now by only connecting the USB-C to HDMI and the HDMI into the LG monitor. So what this basically means is like if I drag let's say this picture of a car, and I wanna move it over here, it does that. And then if I wanna open the picture of the car, um, it's actually gonna open up here first, but then I can drag it over here. And if I wanna make this like full screen, then I can do that. So that's what that does. But you guys wanna see how to close that guy, but still be able to see like this screen on here. And to do that, all you're going to need is your USB-C power cable. All I'm gonna do is connect it right in there. And now that it's connected, I can close up the MacBook. So it's closed. But look at my screen now. So my screen is basically an ultra wide LG Mac, which looks really, really cool. It's awesome for editing. It's awesome for productivity. So if you're like, you know, you can write notes, I can open up like uh, numbers and then I can move it. Let's say I want to use uh, my growth chart for social media and business and everything. And then I also want to open up, I also want to open up pages. I can do that now on my ultra wide. So let's say I want to open up a new document and then I can just go blank and I can have that. And then I could probably squeeze in a third if I just like made these ones a little bit skinnier, but you can just see how cool this is for productivity and creativity. So that's basically all you got to do. It's just one little thing that most people forget. It's to actually have the power cord in while you have that adapter piece going into the actual display. So I hope this helped, guys. I know this was a huge pain in the butt for me when I first got my Mac, and I hope this video helped. It shouldn't be too long, but it should be a helpful video if you guys are trying to do this. And it's just really, really cool. That basically means if you have like an 80 inch 4K TV, you can have an 80 inch 4K MacBook, which is just insane. But yeah, guys, quick little tip like that, and I hope you guys use it for your own benefit, and I hope it helps you guys out a lot. So guys, that is the end of the video make sure if this helped you out to like and subscribe i got a whole bunch of videos to go i made a new year's resolution basically to upload 208 videos this year and i think i have uploaded like i think this is 13 or 14 and it's just the first week of february so i'm doing great i'm right on track but once again thank you for watching i hope you guys all have a great day and i will see you guys next time